Welcome back to our channel everyone and don't forget to subscribe so you'll get notified when we post more riveting videos. So this is the final video of France. We've been touring around in our camper van for a week along the coast of Normandy. Go back to our other three videos if you haven't already seen them. I'll link them in the top right hand corner somewhere. Our last video ended with us visiting a couple of World War sites that are really important to Canada. Dieppe and Vimy Ridge. It was pretty emotional to think how many of our young soldiers had died and suffered in this part of the world and we'd strongly encourage you to visit Normandy and do the what we call the war route no matter what allied country you're from. There are so many landmarks to see along the coast. We start making our way back to return the camper van following our visit in Vimy but first we make a stop in the Champagne area. We don't really drink champagne but you don't have to to appreciate the beauty of the vineyards and the famous champagne houses. Cheers everyone and enjoy! only been here for approximately an hour and we haven't done any champagne stuff. I would say come here. It's a really pretty little core core town downtown. That's right. A little bit but once you're down here it's okay. It's beautiful. So we're gonna close off today and we'll see everybody in the morning to drink some champagne. Right, so good morning again everybody. I've had my coffee, feeling pretty good. 
had a great night's sleep last night. Uh, you've got just me. Um, Brent went in to work out at a gym somewhere and I'm still uh, out in the countryside. So I'm going to walk over here. Just let me show you. I'm gonna walk over here. Okay, so the village that I'm going to be going to is Hauteville, H-A-U-T-V-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Sorry to all my French friends again if I mispronounce any of these words, which I obviously will. We're gonna get a croissant and a coffee first. Gonna look at that diet maybe in about a month when we leave France. And then after that, we're gonna tour around. The village is definitely on the Champagne route if you're coming to the area. Sweet little village. And it is home to um, Moet et Chandon, which I think I might have to go visit when they open up this morning. So uh, let's check the little village out. Okay guys, I made it to the most important part of the village, right there, which is the uh, abbey, which I think was created in the 7th century. And it was here that the monk uh, Dom Perignon, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, figured out how to make wine, uh, champagne from wine. And so currently, and I think his tomb is here actually, or just located outside the village. You can Google that. Um, and also, uh, currently, it is now under the property of Moet and Chandon because they are the ones that now produce um, Dom Perignon. So, uh, I will show you around the abbey, or at least the outside of the abbey. It really is quaint. Okay guys, so just above the village, as you can see, stunning. So I found a forest loop. I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of a hike. Brent will pick me up at 12 and maybe have a glass of champagne. Okay guys, look at this beautiful forest. Oh my gosh. And I just found out it's so cool. It's actually, I think a six kilometer loop and part of it is actually the Champagne Slopes are part of a UNESCO heritage site. And in addition to that, it's for the whole thing is really for artists. So I think there's 10 different stops that you can stop and actually sketch. And if I just read the post or the sign, and if you don't feel like sketching, you just take a journal out and write and keep writing until you don't want to and then move on to the next uh, workstation. So very super cool up here. If you're done with the champagne, come for a little walk, bring your sketchbook and uh, draw the afternoon away. <laughs> then go get more champagne.
Okay. So look who joined me. Hmm. How is the gym? Good. All right. So, uh, second stop on the Champagne Trail is a little, another little village called. Do you remember how to spell it? E T I N A Y. And people come here to basically this a little bit of shopping in Old Town, and then the big thing is Champagne de Avenue. Avenue de Champagne. Avenue de Champagne, which is what we are going to walk right now, and we will show you some um, of the sites on that, including the um, house of the Moet and Chadron, which is what I Chadron actually not Chadron. I can tell I don't drink champagne, uh, which is what I'm looking at right now. Maybe we'll go in and finally have a taste of champagne. Although I did have one earlier. I forgot. So we finished off our day walking the Rue de Champagne in Epernay. I hope I said that correctly, but only for a short while. Champagne isn't really our thing, but if it was, I can see spending a few hours having lunch and visiting the champagne houses. Instead, we drove a few hours to the town of Mew, I hope I said that correctly, where we spent the night in a real campsite with showers and toilets and visiting with these two gems from Denmark. I didn't get any video or pictures, but check out their IG accounts. They're kind and pretty special young people. In the morning, we packed up and returned the van. Touring Normandy for the week will hold a very special place in our hearts for sure. We hope you enjoyed our adventures and we'll see you for Rugby World Cup and touring Switzerland.